Net security. <clears throat> Today we talked about land security. Talk about different hosts on the endpoint. Bring your own device, company owned. Talk about the issues with mobile devices coming in and where your servers sit on the network, whether they're um, accessed externally or just internally. We compared network emission control to network access control, the more generic term. But it really boils down to these things, authentication and authorization. Posture assessment, um, does it meet the policies of your network, like the right virus software and so forth. What do you do when somebody doesn't match quarantine of non-compliant systems? or remediation of non-compliant systems? Do you just quarantine them, don't let them in? Or do you do some particular, take some particular steps to make them compliant? That can look like this. You can have probably a radius server, but you can have a server that can be accessed from externally. Somebody accesses either through a switch or through an access point. Protocol gets you to the server, the server does the authentication, decides what to do with you if you're non compliant, depending on your policies. Okay. So that's sort of a view of the first things we talked about. The next thing we talked about, we said if layer two access. <coughs> MAC address spoofing, talk about that. Spanning tree protocol manipulation, that's the issue with somebody putting in a rogue device and having that end up as the root bridge. We have ways to combat that. MAC address overflow, making a device become sort of a hub device. You know, the address table gets full, and it just starts to broadcast. That would be older devices, not current devices. Land storms, how you manage that when there's an overabundance of data sent to the switch. And VLAN attacks, that um, VLAN hopping, which they call it. Um, putting a device and using the native VLAN to manipulate it so you can put a tag in that really doesn't match. All right. We talked all about port security, and we reviewed that. And then we also talked about monitoring a port source and destination. We can take the information from the source and send it to the destination. So here we did an example of traffic coming in the source can be sent out the destination you can run Wireshark or some other software to collect that data so where's kind of a snapshot of the board there and there and there and that's it